Uh, mostly cloudy morning in Des Moines, 76 degrees, rather comfortable outside really. South winds are at 9 miles per hour. Our temperatures uh, vary from 73 in Ottumwa and Creston to 80 degrees in Fort Dodge and Iowa Falls. Ames checking in at 81 at this hour. We'll climb to the mid 80s this afternoon. Very similar temperatures to what we saw yesterday and the storm chances increase over time. It's just a slight chance for afternoon storms in Des Moines. Better chances arrive later on tonight. Your forecast highs generally in the low to mid 80s this afternoon. We'll call it a, a high of 85 in Webster City, 85 in Des Moines, 84 in Perry and low 80s expected for most of southern Iowa later on today. Your weekend forecast, a good chance for storms again on Saturday, trending drier on Sunday. Highs will mainly be in the low 80s for both of those weekend days. We're not seeing much rain on the radar right now, but uh, mostly cloudy sky out there at this moment. There is a uh, very active pattern across the central US right now. Uh, it wasn't just southern Iowa, northern Missouri absolutely hammered with heavy rain as well. Over the past 24 hours, there have been some estimates of over 10 inches of rain east of Kansas City uh, overnight, especially. So it's been a very wet pattern for southern Iowa, northern Missouri, and now Illinois is getting some of that rain. Northern Iowa is the area that really needs the rain, and we're hoping that pans out over these next couple of days. The stationary boundary is going to lift northward later today and tonight. Low pressure moves into Iowa on Saturday, and you can see there is a pretty decent chance that uh, much of the state, including northern Iowa, will get some of that rain over the next couple of days. Uh, while we will see thunderstorms later on today, the severe threat appears to be pretty low. We're on a level one risk, so low threat for damaging wind, large hail, perhaps a tornado or two, but that threat appears to be pretty low. Biggest threat will continue to be flash flooding in southern Iowa. So the storms that we're expecting this afternoon should develop probably near central or northern Iowa this afternoon. We'll likely see a separate wave develop in southern Iowa this evening, pushing into central Iowa overnight tonight, and then northern Iowa should get some of that rain, and we'll continue to see scattered thunderstorms as we head into the day on Saturday. Cold front will then push through on Saturday night and should clear out that rain on Saturday night. So I expect Sunday to at least start dry. Uh, there will be a few thunderstorms in the afternoon. I think that's most likely in northern and western Iowa, but there is a 20% chance we see that in Des Moines as well. Rain totals could be significant for northern Iowa. It's not going to be widespread three inch totals, but up to three inches is theoretically possible. Uh, hopefully this map you see here pans out where the heavier totals are north and the lighter totals are found to the south, but there could could be some pockets of heavy rain in southern Iowa as well. Here's a look at your Hope Plumbing and Heating 10 day forecast. You're looking at more storm chances early next week, Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. Those chances probably going to drop off later next week and into 4th of July weekend highs in the low to mid 80s through the extended forecast.